All right. What's going on, guys? We are here at LAX. Um, this is my first time flying. I hope I don't die. We're gonna go get into it, and um, I'll talk to you guys when I get where I'm going. He's only terrified because this is his first time. Yeah, this is my first time flying, so I'm it's freaking out. Like you think so? Bro, I, <laughs> dude, if there's turbulence, I'm going to turbulate my plane. So I got a question. If, if, so it's a three-hour flight, right? But we're going to a different time zone. Yeah. So does that mean it's technically a five-hour flight? It's just three hours. But it'll just be a different time when we get there. Right. Be three hours so at what point is it considered like <laughs> time change? Because technically we're time traveling, bro. Well, technically when you fly over a certain part of the country, you'll be an hour ahead. So like we're flying into the future. In a way. Right, so it's like back, back to the future. My calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're going to see some serious shit. In a way, yes. So are you like the scientist? Are you Doc? The Marty McFly? I mean, That's us? I guess, you can say it. I'm scared. Good lord. Jumbled. We took a nap. We didn't get a 5 a.m. workout. It's 11:20. We're gonna go kill it. So I'll uh see you there. I'm not, I'm not feeling it, man. Hey, they're coming or not? We should go wait inside, bro. It's fucking cold. about to try food today what is going on guys welcome back to a special episode of the vlog i think you know where we're at i think we know who's here if you can see you see the, the car right there I got 
got some pasta. Like a random, there's like a random like like mirror that they added like in the middle. That's pretty far. This is the one with Arnold, huh? I'm gonna need you to be a Gatorade photographer. Make that shit look legit. Bang! Kobe Bryant has hit a shot at the buzzer! I had to buy this. This shaker. It's pretty far. Matches the fit, so can't complain. I'm gonna do the, the legend. Of to start this workout finally we are going to hit chest shoulders triceps so like a push day um like i said i had to buy this shaker cup it matches the fit you know what i'm saying it's not it's not bad it's not bad uh, we're gonna go with we went with the uh, guzman the legend the the last one that he made i haven't tried this one yet so we're gonna try that and i'm Hey, shout out, shout out to the homies that we ran into. So, when we first got here, we got dropped off by the Uber, like in the front, like in the, um, what do we call it? The Just like the employee, employee entrance, or like, entrance. The, you know, the, the, the main people's spot, right? Where the stairs are. And we just walk in there, we think, you know, that's the entrance. So we walked in, uh, and then they're like, uh, like, what are you doing here, sir? And then uh, they were like, you gotta go around. But our lift already left, so we're like, fuck. And then we met these two girls, who work here and they were like, yeah, you gotta go around, but you can come with us this way. So we got the VIP access, so man, good vibes already. You know it's gonna be a good day. All right, let's see. Smells like lemon, lime, Gatorade, the usual. The only thing about Ghost Free, bro, is it always makes you feel nauseous. So if this shit does that, I'm gonna be pissed. If, if you feel nauseous after taking it, you're not a legend. Nah, then they need to reformulate for bigger legends. That's what they need. I'm, I'm as legendary as it gets, sir. Okay. I don't know if I put enough water, personally. There's a lot of foaminess in there. I don't know if you can see. It was good, but it was it was pretty sour. Now, like I said, I don't know if it was because I didn't use enough water or what, but... I'll give it a 8 out of 10. And uh, let's go give it a performance review. Alright, so we're gonna warm up the chest. We're gonna do what we usually do. It's gonna be a fly, so we're gonna bring it up for a fly. 10 flies, and then we're gonna transition to 10 presses. Alright? We're gonna try to get some blood flowing and warm everything up. Alright, yeah, so we're gonna do probably four, four to five sets of this, and we're gonna do the next exercise. Alright, so for the next exercise, bench press. So we pre exhausted our chest, so obviously we're not gonna go too heavy. We're still gonna push ourselves, and we're gonna do, let's say, five sets. Five, whoa, I disappeared. Like five sets of maybe. Let's do five sets of like eight. Like a heavier set. I'm with it. I've never really used it, but I've done it a few times right now. 
definitely fire. So what we can do is we're gonna go up. We are as slow as we possibly can. We're gonna focus on that negative. So five slow negatives and then ten reps fast it down. So, coming here, the analogy I, I use is, it's like Kobe Bryant watching Michael Jordan. I say that because, like, obviously Christian Guzman set the bar to a whole nother level, but I genuinely feel like what we're going to create, me and whoever's watching, we're just going to blow it out the water, man. Like, Christian Guzman was the pioneer. And, you know, there's always going to be the pioneer. But then there's always going to be that next person to kind of, like, push the level. And, like, that's that's what I'm coming for. That's what I want. What is going on guys? Alright, so we're back for another another trip. Yesterday, I, um, we hit chest, shoulders, and then we did a little arm workout after we ate. Then we came back. Now it is like 6 a.m. We're going to go get another workout in. Then we got to go check out from the hotel. And then we're going to go to downtown Houston for a bit and check that out. I mean, I'll do, a, I'll do a, another review, honestly, of like what I felt about this gym. But just a quick little clip to talk to you guys. This definitely, definitely delivered. Okay, well, we are right now making content ideas, but we got some sugar-free smuckers, protein pancakes, sausage, and some blueberries. This is actually really good so far. Like, I've been super impressed with all of this food. And, um, so, no way. Yeah, for, for sure, really good. And, uh, yeah. So, just ate the protein pancakes as you see. And honestly, I'm just making TikToks right now. I'm just making TikToks right now. So, if you don't have me on TikTok, make sure you get me on TikTok. Make sure you get me on What's crazy about this all, bro, like this, I mean, obviously this place is a phenomenal place, right? Yeah. Pretty facility, but like, it really all started with just a dream, right? Mm -hmm. Essentially, like. It was a gym at a storage like, unit? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, he started, like, making YouTube videos, and he talked about, like, how he'd always carry his camera around, and people would be, like, looking at him weird, calling him names. Like, why is he, like, wearing a camera? And it's like. If he would have listened to those people, those negative people in his life and telling him like he's weird or whatever, none of this would be like what it is today. Possible. Nothing. Not uh, Alpha Lee. Alpha Land wouldn't exist, right? None of this. He would Alpha he would, Lee probably wouldn't Don't exist. get me wrong though, he would have been successful because of his work ethic, like who he is. Yeah. Uh, he was doing like music lessons, he'd probably be a musician. You know what I mean? I think the key, the main thing of the message is is like if you have a dream, if you have something that you believe in or you think can work or something that you like, regardless of what anyone else is telling you or telling you can or can't do or telling you you should do it this way, you should do it that way, at the end of the day, it's gonna be your life. The end result, you're gonna have to take responsibility. So if you do something and you half-ass it and it's not good, well, that's your responsibility. If you do something and you put it your all, regardless of people say, and it's great, that's on you. So it's like, you're gonna be accountable for whatever you choose to do, regardless if somebody influences you. So somebody can say, no, I think you should go this way. But then I guarantee you, if you went that way and you messed up or it didn't work, that person would be the same one telling you, like, man, you shouldn't have done that. You know what I mean? So it's like, just because somebody tells you to do something or they give you their opinions, doesn't mean you have to do it because at the end of the day, you are in charge of what you decide to do. So like I said, if you have a dream, if you have something you want to do, something you want to accomplish, small goal, whether it be something big, whether it be something small, please make sure you give it 100% and you chase it. Peace.